let's talk about polarization polarization is the phenomenon of reflection refraction interference diffraction are common to both transverse wave and longitudinal wave you are able to see the difference between the transverse wave and longitudinal wave but the transverse nature of light waves is determined only by the phenomenon of polarization let's see further on polarization i got a rope ab we pass through two parallel vertical slits s1 and s2 placed close to each other the rope is fixed at the end b if the free end a of the rope is moved up and down perpendicular to its length transverse wave was generated with a vibration parallel to the slit these waves pass through both s1 and s2 without any changes in their amplitude but if s2 is made horizontal like this the two slits are perpendicular to each other so there won't be any vibration no vibration will pass through s2 and amplitude of vibration will become zero the portion s2 and b is without wave motion as depicted here on the other end if longitudinal waves are generated in the rope by moving the rope along forward and backward like this the vibration will pass through s1 and s2 irrespective of their position this implies that the orientation of the slits has no effect on the propagation of longitudinal waves but the propagation of the transverse wave is affected if the slits are not parallel to each other a similar phenomenon has been observed in light when light passes through a tomlin crystal light from this source is allowed to fall on a tomlin crystal which is cut parallel to its axis the emergent light will be slightly colored due to natural color of the crystal this is referred to as polarized light when the crystal a is rotated there is no change in the intensity of the emergent light with the crystal b parallel to a in the path of the light when both the crystals are rotated together so that their axes are parallel the intensity of the light coming out of b does not change when the crystal b alone is rotated the intensity of emergent light from b gradually decreases when the axis of b is at right angle to the axis of a no light emerges if the crystal b is further rotated the intensity of light coming out the b gradually increases and is maximum along their axis if they are parallel So comparing this observation with the mechanical analog discussed earlier it is concluded that the light waves are transverse in nature the light waves coming out of a tomlin crystal a have their vibration in only one direction perpendicular to the direction of propagation these waves are said to be polarized since the vibration are restricted to only one plane to the axis of the crystal the light is said to be the plane polarized the phenomena of restricting the vibration into a particular plane is known as polarization now we are into the polarization of transverse waves the plane containing the optical axis in which the vibration occur is referred to as the plane of vibration or plane of propagations the plane which is right angle to the plane of the vibration and which contains the direction of the propagation of the polarized light that's referred to as the plane of polarization the plane of polarization does not contain vibration in it 
P, Q, R, S represent the plane of vibration and E, F, G, H that represent the plane of polarization.